Mr. Pradhan, now the NDRF has dealt with cyclones in Orissa, elsewhere. But this pandemic, which is raging at this time, makes the task of the NDRF that much more uh, complex because of the fact that you've got patients who require critical care and suddenly you could have a wave coming in or heavy flooding coming into, your, into the hospital. What kind of efforts have you made to ensure that patients are A, already evacuated, which could potentially lead to spreading infection if you're not doing it properly, and B, to ensure that when the storm comes in, that they are well and taken care of, sir? I think Rahul, the uh, the uh, exercise to evacuate the patients started yesterday itself, and some day before yesterday. The uh, the uh, chief ministers yesterday were in full agreement with the home minister that uh, the jumbo hospitals and the makeshift hospitals, which have been set up, and the vaccination centers will have to be uh, relooked at in the light of the threat from the cyclone and the wind speed, and uh, that is what exactly has been done. And uh, although the uh, the uh, makeshift infrastructure has certainly been damaged, as I can see. Uh, at least the patients' lives have been saved. Yes, there is a threat of infection, but uh, all the precautions have been taken, and where NDRF was required to help, NDRF has helped. But there is other uh, avenues of help also, uh, and other scopes of help in this COVID situation, vis-a-vis -vis the cyclone. Uh, you know, uh, only in the morning, uh, a line of oxygen tankers were lined up in Panaji uh, town, because of a tree that had fallen along with an uh, electric pole. It was cleared immediately by the NDRF on priority vis-a-vis uh, -vis other uh, areas so that the tankers could pass through and go to their destinations probably for vital supply lines. Similarly, yesterday one of the discussions was that from Jamnagar in western Gujarat, where which is going to be an impact area, a lot of oxygen supplies by train and road go through six very vital routes which the CM was at pains to uh, 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 you know, uh, delineate that these were the routes which supplied the uh, vital oxygen to entire North India, entire Western India. So all these routes have to be kept clear. So the NDRF teams have been uh, briefed that they should uh, they should be very aware that in the post immediate post cyclone time, uh, if uh, the roads have been blocked in any way, they have to be also cleared. But one of the important things decisions that was made yesterday with the, between the chief minister and the central government was to keep 48 hours or more uh, uh, work of oxygen supply for their states. And I think that has been ensured through the in, under the aegis of the Ministry of Road Transport as well as Ministry of Health in concerns with the state government. So I think some due diligence has taken place along with the shifting of the patients. And I think we should, we should be able to tide this situation as a special challenge, even if it's a special challenge. I think some due diligence in the right direction has been done.